Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do something we should have done a long time ago. How to stitch by hand the apron of your loafers. Um, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do the hand stitching. First of all, the initial stitch. So you make a loop, pull in your thread that way. And then put your needle into the same hole. Flip the front thread into that loop and tighten it up so that way you have that cross um, loop now this is what many people do when they stitch by hand it's called a lock stitch you simply make a loop pass your front thread into the loop and tighten let's see how that is done again you put in your needle make a loop put your front thread in and tighten now, this is basically the very same kind of stitch that your sewing machine does. It's called a lock stitch. Now, if you see, the in between the top and bottom thread is that loop. So that loop just stays in the middle. Now, the problem with this kind of stitch is that, you know, you have quite some problems with several things. The loop is made to stay in the middle and... You know, um, sometimes it may not look very nice. You have issues with thread tension and all whatnot. So let me demonstrate what the problem with lock stitching is. You see that that loop, for it to be the best it can be, for it to look its best, that loop has to be in the middle. And then another problem is if one of the loop breaks, you have a problem, which is where saddle stitching comes in. Saddle stitching takes the front thread backwards, goes into the same hole and bring the back thread forward. So the front thread backwards, you put your needle into the same hole and bring your back thread forward. This way you are not having any problems with thread tensions because no matter how you pull it snug and tight, the, there is actually no loop, so there is nothing to loop in the middle of the walk. So, and one advantage is because there is no loop, everything will always be centered in the middle. And if it breaks, only one of the stitches will break, whereas in a lock stitch, quite a number of stitches will unravel. So let's demonstrate saddle stitching slowly. You put your needle back into the same hole and bring your backward thread forward. So let's do this a little bit more slowly. So you put in your needle, you make a loop as though you were making a lock stitch. Use that loop to bring your forward thread backwards. You pull it out. Then you take your back thread, put your needle into the same hole that your front thread went into and pull your back thread out forward. Let's do that again. So you make a loop. You bring your front thread backwards. You put your needle into the same hole and bring your back thread forward. The advantage of a saddle stitch is that it is stronger. You, because you are not having any problems with thread tensions, it's always centralized and your stitches look way more cleaner and finer. So when you don't have quite a lot to stitch, attempt to do a saddle stitch and you would find that your stitches would come out cleaner and better. So um, this is a video that I should have made. I actually made this video, um, but then mistakenly deleted it from my phone. Then I realized that after I had made it, I had sent snippets of it to a friend of mine on WhatsApp, and therefore it was on my sent um, folder on my WhatsApp which was where I downloaded it from just to make this video for you guys.
So if you find that it was grainy a bit, it was because of the accident. But I hope it's still helpful. So let me know if it was helpful to you and if you're going to attempt Saddle Stitch. See you on the next video. And God bless you.